I want to take you to Ethiopia now, where a six-month state of emergency was announced by authorities earlier this week, and it has now been formally approved by the country's House of People's representatives. The legislature's approval is a final step in the process that allows for the conscription of citizens who own firearms and are of age for military service, roadblocks, communication outages, the search and arrest of people deemed to be cooperating with terrorist groups. The U.S. envoy to the Horn of Africa, Jeffrey Fellman, is visiting the Ethiopian capital, Addis, to press for a peaceful solution to the war that has caused a humanitarian crisis in the country. Jeffrey's visit comes as Tigrayan fighters are said to have made more advances towards the capital, with reports indicating that some of them have been arrested. Now, the U.S. has authorized the voluntary departure of non-essential government employees as Britain urged its citizens to leave while commercial options are still available. Meanwhile, Uganda's President Yoweri Museveni wants East African community bloc leaders to meet on the 16th of this month to discuss the crisis in Ethiopia as Kenya tightens security along its borders. Gracias.